When President John F. Kennedy was killed, a grieving nation put pen to paper. 1.5 million mourners sent condolence letters to the First Lady, who promised to try to read each one. All of you who have written to me know how much we all loved him and that he returned that love in full measure. At her request, 15,000 of the letters were archived at the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library in Boston, which is where, more than four decades later, an American history professor named Ellen Fitzpatrick stumbled across them and was captivated. They're from dairy farmers, from coal miners, from housewives, from college professors. There's a letter from a 99-year-old man who had lived through all four presidential assassinations. His is one of 220 letters that appear in Fitzpatrick's new book, Letters to Jackie. I'm only in third grade and we did. Kevin Radell was eight years old in 1963, but had a lot to say. I wanted to phone you, but my father told me not to because it is not polite, so I didn't. Lee had a good weapon and he could not miss. I wish he did miss and didn't even think of killing. I guess some people are that way and don't think of what they're doing. I bet you feel sad. Today, Nobody he's will, a 55-year-old investment banker living in New York City. Maybe. She reminded me so much of my mother and her children reminded me so much of my own siblings. I just uh, felt that it was uh, a death in my own family. Gabrielle Gideon didn't have any family. She had escaped Hitler's Germany. And yet Some she wrote this to Jackie Kennedy. Yet never until last Friday have I felt such a desperate sense of loss and loneliness. I'm, I'm a part of of America's history, and I'm very proud to be a part of America's history in a, in a minuscule way. Fitzpatrick says she was struck by the sense of immediacy in the letters, ordinary Americans who felt connected to the Kennedys. I found a letter from a man named Stephen Hanrahan that I found particularly beautiful. It sounded like it had been written by a poet, and you get to the end of the letter and you realize that he is an inmate in a federal penitentiary. In The President, he writes, I felt that I had known a whole man. It is a rare experience, but always an illuminating and ennobling one. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.